Her grandfather brought the well-renowned Red Stripe beer mm. to an international audience, and she is following in his footsteps, spreading her love for Jamaican food and hospitality to bookshelves and supermarkets around the nation. Well, that's right. Here to discuss her new cookbook and how to show us how to liven up any meal with her family's signature of condiments is Chef Robin Lim Lumsden. Hello. Hi, Hi, welcome. Welcome. Oh, man. Yeah, so you have to tell us about growing up with your father. I mean, he's a legend in the beer industry. Well, it was actually my grandfather. Your grandfather, that, yes. Uh, started our Red Stripe Bear along with Mr. Geddes. And yes, growing up in the industry was quite interesting. You know, it, it, um, I watched the company grow from nothing into a, quite a big company. It was eventually bought by Guinness. And um, it just inspired me. I was like, okay, they can do it. I can do it too. I can bring a Jamaican product to the world. And that's the mission we're on, is okay. to become a first, one of the first Jamaican gourmet specialty food companies to um, go global. I mean, there are a couple others like Pica Pepper and mm -hmm. so Walker's Wood. How did you gravitate toward condiments? Well, we have a farm, and I love gardening and so it was a bit of a you know a hobby on steroids I, I started <laughs> like gardening and my husband follow your passion and all of a sudden I was making my grandmother's to make the chutney and then I wanted to make a hot sauce I did my roasted scotch bonnet and then we had guavas in the garden so I'm there making guava jam and his father came over and we made marmalade and it just kind of grew and grew and grew and um, we're just really happy to be in America and um, be tasting our products and at the fancy food show last mm -hmm. yesterday and it was the, the response has been awesome. Now tell us a little bit more about what is in your products because it's all real fruit. It's not all real fruit. Mm -hmm. They're all natural. There are no preservatives mm -hmm. and um, we're hoping to get a uh, no GMO status and we're hoping to get them into Whole Foods mm -hmm. and so they're really good for you. I mean the sugar if you're diabetic you have to watch it but we've got real honey in there because we're, mm -hmm. we have an apiary and lime juice and ginger and roasted scotch bonnets and thyme wow. and parsley and I'm a cook, so I love. It. I'm not a chef. <laughs> I'm a home cook. I'm not a chef. A home I, cook. I'm, a, yeah. I'm a home eater. I'm, I'm a, a everywhere <laughs> eater. Well, you got you got to Where try do we some. Start? Yeah, which okay. one's your favorite? Well, these are savory. That's a sorrel chutney, and you know sorrel okay. is sorrel de um, flores de Jamaica or something mm -hmm. like that. Which one? That was with the one some brie. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. And then I, I want to try them all. <laughs> so. You know, a chutney is like a jam with spice in it. So mm. It's got pimento and it's um, it's got I'm, onions and a little mm. vinegar and pepper. So it's kind of so it's it's something you know you serve as an hors d'oeuvre or you could serve it with your beef or mm. chicken or something as well. I was gonna say, was so, you say very savory? That was, it's a sa mm. like a savory jam, mm. very English, but it's gaining some. Um, you know, appreciation in America. And then, okay, wow. then, then we have this guava, which is the, the bright red. I don't want to put any one that of them down. Delicious. But there's plenty. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, okay. Well, that was a little spicy to that last yeah, that's one. That's a little it was, got a kick to it. It yep. was later. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. realize it. Just <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. like, wait a minute. Mm, Think of it on some burning. smoked pork chops or like Ooh. some brisket, you know, some smoked brisket. Oh, that does. Now, which so one is what this is called? This one? This is a guava with a cheddar cheese. But, you know, I have some of them without cheese. I have a mm. pineapple with ginger. And I can it. see this on some wow. toast in the morning. Morning, just put yeah. this on. Mm -hmm. Very marmalade. Peanut butter. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> top of a cheesecake. Yeah. Top of a sour well, I like cream how cake. it's thick, though. It's thick not too runny. Exactly. It's not like jelly. It's very jam. It's a preserve. That's right. the difference. It's got chunks of fruit in it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of it comes right from our own garden. I'm a big, you know, I've planted like hundreds of guava trees. Mm. And it's a very Hispanic thing. And then, so... And the last thing, well, you're gonna, you maybe you need to take a break. And <laughs> we don't need oh, no break. <laughs> We're good. Let's go. Yeah, I can well, do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Now, this is a pepper jam, and this is a tomato chutney, which was um, one of my first recipes. This was, okay. okay, I'll try the first you, recipe. And you try the pepper okay, jam so because okay. that's got fresh so, herbs in it. What inspires mm -hmm. all of your recipes? And um, well, actually, I love to make dishes mm. around them and. You know, like I, I do a, a lovely chicken liver pate and I put the, the um, tomato chutney on it. I love it how it's not too overpowering with the tomato. Tomato, though. but mm -hmm. you can imagine it as a sandwich with cheese and, it, you know, you can dress it up or. And then the pepper jam. Now I love. This is spicy. Where does this go? Because this goes like in, on smoked salmon. 
Wow, because mm. there's, so, there's a definitely a sweet flavor to it, but it's got kick to it. But you can also glaze, you know, pork or something with oh. it, and even fish and stuff. So, yeah. Purpose. So, I like that. Uh, yeah. oh. They're all purpose. I mean, you know, I'm a chef. Are you hot, spicy, spicy, hot? I'm not no. spicy. I'm not spicy either. Okay, well, okay. I'll take, I'll take spicy both, for today. We're two punks okay. living okay. together. Okay. Okay. I'll take okay. a little okay. spicy today. Okay, Sean, <laughs> this is just a taste of the... <laughs> this is our steak, steak sauce, It's and also it's an all-purpose mm. jerk this sauce. This would be great on chicken, I was going to say. Chicken, mm. roast your chicken, in, on too your barbecue. It's not spicy. too bad, it's not, not too bad. You know, this really... I definitely feel it. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit it's of heat in now. it. Yeah, so we won't try the roasted scotch bonnet with you. And this is the Asian one, which has a little bit going, you know, the ginger. It's Asia, It's a ginger sauce. Mm -hmm. So what levels of this? This is mild, medium, and hot? or No, no, no. Mild, hot, and medium. Uh -huh. But they're all-purpose sauces, mm -hmm. you know. They're, they're to really, they're a cook's aid. You know, mm. you, if you're cooking at all, mm. you can be really creative with them. Mm. And they're tropical, they're natural, and they're packed with goodness, you know. And I delicious. Have, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, one of the reasons, I guess you guys don't mind if I talk about, um, we're here to launch, we launched our cookbook in here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about so, it and what kind of recipes we'll be able to find in here. Well, my family have a really rich cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. My dad was half Chinese, I grew up in Beijing. My, um, he's had a Scottish mother, and then my, my Jamaican family are like English, French, mix up, mix up, and so it's really out of many one food. You know, it's um, it's part of my cultural heritage that I wanted to preserve, in uh, and uh, it's it's fulfilling a dream. I had this huge box of recipes from my mother when she died, and mm. my family used them, and we have a huge family. I mean, Jamaican families are you know 20, 50 <laughs> strong, right? And um, we're always entertaining. I mean, this is Christmas lunch. I wow. noticed that people, your sons this is Christmas are lunch. lunch. It's like a hundred people sitting exactly. at the dinner uh, table. I, I think that you know. Wow. I want to sort of change, you know, demystify some, or, or the whole um, feeling that Jamaica is just this beach and this sun, mm -hmm. and you know, that we're, we're a really diverse country. We've got mm -hmm. mountains, you know, we're, it's, it's such a mixture of cultures. There are Indian people, Jewish people, African people, Chinese people, and everybody comes, you know, food is sort of the, everybody's food sort of, is part of this cultural mix-up mm. and, and potpourri. It brings everybody together. It brings together. everybody together, and mm -hmm. half of us don't even know where it comes from. You know, where we, as far as we're concerned, curry chicken is ours. Right, right. <laughs> you, know, you know, and there's so many Chinese restaurants, and um, you know, it's it's a very interracial, very mm. um, interesting society, complex and interesting mm. society. What were some of the challenges you faced when trying to cover so many different oh, types yeah. of food, from Jamaican, French, Chinese recipes in the book? Well, that's a, um, that was one of the the difficulties in writing the book. Mm -hmm. In that, um, I'd taken these photographs of the recipes, and then I thought, well, how do I knit the story together? How do I tell the story of my past? So. Um, I, I had to, and how did it relate to food? So, for instance, in the Chinese section, I wrote a story about how my father came from east to west, and it's a fascinating story. Mm -hmm. His father was head of the Red Cross in China and had married this Scottish woman, taken her back to China, and then he came to Jamaica literally on a whim, like, a drunk in a bar. He was working in New York, and this drunk said to him, he had to go and get a visa because he, his, he was in a student visa, and then when he started working, he had to go and get a, a on the Asian quota. Mm. And this is in the 50s. So he, you know, he sort of looked at a map, and the drunk said, Montego Bay. And he was like, okay, that's a British colony. I'll go there, you know. And he sort of I came to Jamaica. I wouldn't mind going there. Yeah, that's how it works for me. Like, no problem, you know. You're totally and he taking my mother. us to all these places. Yeah, I, so I, I write about the story. I mean, his history and mm -hmm. thing. I mean, obviously, it's just to give you a, a taste. A and, taste you know, of each. And to spice it up. And then, But will yeah. people be able to pull off these recipes if they're not, you know, doing the organic things that you're doing and, you know, growing oh, yeah. the fruit and they're everything easy. yourself? And I mean, like, for instance, if, you, if you're making cheesecake, I have mm. a lovely cheesecake in the book, and you can't find my guava jam, you know, mm. just use another one. It's a lemon cheesecake. Okay. And, and, and if you can't find my roasted scotch bonnet, just chop up some habanero or something, you know. And it, I'm not mm. my pulled pork. If you can't find my jerk sauce, you know, use someone else's, or uh -huh. you can 
you know, it's, the recipes are simple. I'm a home cook. I entertain. Mm -hmm. I love feeding people. And oh, you know, I love the, eating. So anytime the, the, you want some more <laughs> you people come to feed, you come on down to Jamaica. Can, I'll okay. feed you. I'm <laughs> there. And where can we get your book? Let us it's know. On Amazon. Amazon. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. And, you know, I really want people to, it's very accessible. Mm -hmm. it, they're simple recipes. They work and they're fun. I believe in actually families eating together. That's how I grew up. Now, and where can we get the preserves, yeah, too? Because I, I need the book, but I also need the well, main ingredients. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a distributor here mm -hmm. in the States. That's why we did the fancy food show. We were the only Jamaican company that were, was at the fancy food really? show. Really? Yes, wow. representing ourselves. And um, so we're here, look, you know, we want to get into Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And we are, are hoping to get into some of the specialty food companies. Um, retailers here. Is there a and website now that they would We have a to? website okay. and we're, you know, we're going to put them on Amazon and we've been doing it for about six years. Okay. Me, ten, because I started in the kitchen. Well, don't but worry. Once those people taste these delicious preserves, they okay. will get you in their stores. Thank you so much. I'm I need it on the, go look ahead. at him. So, I need it on the chicken and the fish uh, and the ribs uh, and the whole uh, thing. Yeah. Great. Go ahead. Keep talking. Yeah. You know, keep it right <laughs> back with more Rise Entertainment 360. Okay. Mm. Thank mm. you so much. Lovely. <laughs>